Hey guys, it's Eros here. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys a workout me my, and my good friend Dylan Hart did leading up to his Mr. Olympia fitness model competition in Las Vegas. As you can see, we're starting off on just a conventional barbell bench press. Dylan's pausing on his chest. It's got a bit to do with his powerlifting background that we, me and him both competed in. Uh, really, this just develops more power, more of a density in your physique. Can't cheat or bounce off the chest. Here I'm doing my set. This is our first set. It's not our maximal set, so we're getting out a few reps. As you can see, I'm using more of a powerlifter technique. I'm arching the back. I'm tucking my elbows in and then I'm driving the bar upwards. So after this set, we'll push up the weight a bit, lower the reps down to probably about four or so, five, depending on how we feel. Dylan's a bit depleted because he's getting ready for the comp, leaning down. So as you can see, here I am just really arching, digging my scapula into the bench, forming a really solid foundation so that I can drive the bar up. Really important that you focus on pushing the bar away from your body instead of actually lifting the bar up. So I get out four reps here, I think. All right, and then we're going to do a little drop set, take off a bit of weight, push out some more reps, done the heavy work, so it's going to really fatigue and wear out the muscle. So obviously we're in, we're in fast forward here, controlling, making sure to control the weight. And then for the last reps, just down to 60, but obviously after, after doing the heavier work, it feels, feels a lot heavier and more difficult. So just getting every last bit out of the muscle for the last set. Here Dylan does his heavy set. A bit more of an elbow flare for Dylan. I tend to like to keep him a bit more stress on the triceps just to protect the shoulders, but He's never had any issues or trouble and he's quite strong in his position so it works well for him. As you see Dylan's using a belt, giving a little bit more stability through the core. Getting out his few reps, dropping it down 20 kilos. And then burning it out at 60. It's a great way to start a workout, get your power heavy workout and get a bit of volume in as well. So the chest is on a nice pump, everything's ready to go. So here's our secondary exercise. It's a barbell incline press. As you can see, we're using the fat bar. Fat bar gives a slightly different stimulation to the muscles of the chest. Also, when you use a fat bar, it's much more balanced and keeps symmetry in your body. Dealing once again, using a slight pause in the chest. As you can see, we're using a bit less weight on this. Being in an incline position makes it more difficult, and also the fat bar uh, makes the movement a bit more difficult as well. Getting out three sets of ten on this. As you can see, I'm still arching the back, not not too much, because you want to keep that incline position to target the upper chest, but you still want to make sure the shoulders are retracted and the shoulder blades are down. You can also see I'm using a, a, a thumbs over grip. It just feels a bit more comfortable on the fat bar not to have your thumbs wrapped all the way around. Moving on from that, we're doing a superset of incline flies that really isolate the chest, take out the shoulders and triceps from the movement. Supersetted with a close grip on the Swiss bar, which has multiple handles. As you can see, I'm really squeezing and bring, moving, changing the hand position, targeting the upper chest. So the Swiss bar close grip is going to work a bit more triceps, but also the inner chest as well. Dylan likes to do this superset to sort of lead him into his tricep workout which we're going to be completing after the chest. So here he is pumping out some reps. A bit more high reps on these on these movements, lower weight and the rest is a bit lower so keeping the intensity up. Finishing off the chest here, Dylan's performing favorite movement of his, cable crossover. Pumping a lot of blood into his chest really bringing out all those striations. As you can see throughout the course of this set, he's getting leaner and harder, really filling it up. Move, changing his hand position just to mix it up, target different parts of the chest. And really squeezing and holding it in at the end. Now for some tr tricep isolation work, just some 
cable, close grip push downs. Lock, keeping those elbows locked in and tight. And as you can see, as he, he pauses at the bottom, really contracts the tricep. Good number of reps. And decent amount of weight as well. Alright, here's Dylan. He's happy. He's got his top off now. Seeing his form. He's you know coming up to his comp not too long. He's leaned down quite a bit. Got some good shape going. And a great smile as well.